friends and welcome back. Uh, this is part two of Amanda Davis and Moni Richie Hadley's episode. So if you have not seen the first video where they are talking about their books and, and the inspiration for their books, make sure you go and watch that. Um, and this is the second part. Amanda, um, you, I'm going to read you three facts. You have to tell me which one belongs to Alexis, which one belongs to Moni, and which one belongs to Tiffany. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay, here are your three facts. One of us clogged for 10 years. One of us played in a band and was the song leader in high school. And one of us was the lead guitarist in a band in high school. Did you say one of us clogged? Was that the first one? Yes, clogged, the dancing. <laughs> I don't know what clogging is. Can you explain? Um, so clogging is kind of like river dance. Do you know river dance? Okay. I think the clogger was you, Alexis. I think that the song leader was Moni. And I think that the guitarist was Tiffany. How did you get all those? I mean, I totally gave away the clogging one. Um, but yes, all three correct. I don't know. That was really good. Um, you just you seem like the clogger type. I don't even know if that's a type. Um, <laughs> and then Moni is just so like calm, and I, I picture her voice just like so nice and m melodic and. Tiffany? Yeah, I can see her like just strumming out. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Round two. Moni, I'm going to read you three facts and you have to guess which one belongs to Tiffany, which one belongs to myself, and which one is Amanda's. All right, here are the three facts. One of us was a class valedictorian. One of us would love to own a traveling bookstore someday, and one of us believes the ocean is their safe place. This is hard. I feel like I don't know any of you that well, so I'm going to say Amanda thinks the ocean is her safe place because I remember a picture or something recently or an Instagram post where you were at the ocean site. So I will say, Alexis, in this short time that I've gotten to know you, I will say that you are you were valedictorian, and Tiffany wants to own a bookstore. Oh my gosh! You got them all correct too! Good job! Yeah, 21 for the books. We're good at trivia. Yeah, that's good. All right, we need a tiebreaker. Okay, so... Hmm, hold on a second. All right, Amanda. Who do you think has a matching freckle on their pinky with their mom? Oof. My gut reaction was saying you, Alexis. However, maybe I need to go with my gut. I'm thinking Moni lives with her mother, so that might be where that comes from. Hmm. I'm gonna go with my gut and say you, Alexis. Yes! Maybe I shouldn't be asking a freckle question when I'm, I don't know, can you see all my freckles? I can't see any freckles, no freckles, I don't see any freckles. All right, Moni, who climbed the Sydney Harbor Bridge in Australia? Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I have no idea. I'm gonna say Tiffany. Oh, wait, is Tiffany one of the choices? Yeah, she was one of the choices. But it was Amanda! So, we have a winner, <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> Bragging rights, that's what you win. Here's your trophy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I climbed the Sydney Harbor Bridge. Um, my sister lives in Australia, so that was a pretty cool thing to do when we visited. <laughs> I did not know that fact. I wish I had. Uh, so some of the other facts are really interesting. Moni wants to surf. That is so cool, Moni. And um, 
Tiffany, let's see, she was in a theater production called Beauty Lou and the Country Beast. I so want to watch that. Um, let's see here. Another fun one was that um, oh, Tiffany had four baby teeth pulled when she was 14. Ugh. And Moni was a breech baby. That's terrifying. Oh, and Amanda, your middle name is Gilman. I think I knew that somehow. Why, how would I know that? Very fun facts. I don't know how you would know my middle name is Gilman. Maybe it's out there somehow, somewhere. I like it. It's my mom's maiden name. I used to not like it when I was younger, but I like it now. Uh, Moni, if you ever get out there and surf and you become a pro or whatever, I think you should send us some videos. I would love to my see it. My husband's been trying to teach me, but it kind of uh, stopped during COVID, we weren't going to the beach. So I think I have to start all over again. I'll just practice in my pool. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you both for joining us today on Legit Kid Lit. Moni and Amanda, we had so much fun getting to know you, um, know about your books, and we hope that others are inspired to pick up writing, um, learn their history, and start getting some stories down or maybe they're inspired to read your stories so thank you so much and i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day thank you for having us i really um, had a great time here today thanks for having us legit kid lit rocks yeah you're gonna be our outro from now on yeah bye